Hello everybody, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Thursday, April 26, 2012, and I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com, and on YouTube is ddarko2012, of course, but my backup channel is ddarko2013. You might want to subscribe to that in case this channel ever does get pulled. So, all the headlines and links will be posted in YouTube's video description, and if you have not seen this video, please check it out. Um, it's going to segue into what I'm going to be talking about, hopefully today, as long as I don't have any technical issues. Um, it says here, space mining to devalue gold. So this new mining adventure could actually bring the price of gold to come down. So, and I went through that, so I recommend going to check this video out. I linked it up basically with what? All these uh, Italian bonds, or bonds being uh, uh, found, these quote fake bonds. Well, they're real bonds, and uh, the Chinese and uh, other countries uh, basically gave over their gold to the Federal Reserve System back during World War II in the 30s and that. Uh, which is what the same date that these uh, bonds that are being found are dated as, and um, they want their gold back or their money, right? And they also hold a lot of debt. So we're going to get into that. Um, also, what? Uh, has the invasion of the U.S. begun? So remember this article, Chinese troops reportedly amassing near the U.S.-Mexico border. So I only included it because of a recent report, a couple of uh, reports about uh, weapons, caches, uh, radios, uh, basically everything that uh, a militia, a full operational militia or army unit needs. Uh, they had Asian and Arabic uh, writing on them. You go in there and check out that uh, link and just watch this video and you can see it, all the stuff that they had. So, But that was on the Arizona-Mexico border. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Mexicans are fleeing at a record rate out of the United States. And what? The United States is uh, pulling National Guard troops away from the border. So this is just, uh, a recipe for disaster. But uh, who knows, maybe uh, our, our, our sellouts in Washington that work for the globalists are on board with this Agenda 21 uh, agenda, right? Which is to secede uh, U.S. sovereignty over to the globalists, the United Nations, and, uh, and whatnot. So this would make a lot of sense, especially uh, if China wants uh, their gold back or they're here to collect on all the, uh, on all the debt. I think the, those uh, Bush rebate checks or whatever stimulus is that they gave to people, those little checks that they gave to the uh, Americans, I think those are actually funded by the Chinese. So a lot's going on here that's going on behind the scenes that we're not even aware of. Or it could just be that, uh, you know, this is all part of the agenda, the, the, the final pieces being put together for this global government and that the Chinese and Russians are just taking part. They're not actually invading and taking over. But they're going to be the ones, right? Because you never know, you know, those pesky humans, you never know what they're going to do, right? That's why you need robots and drones to, to, to do a lot of your work. So you never know if they're going to turn on their own people. When martial law and civil unrest ensues, Russia, U.S. to hold anti-terror drills in May. So this I just can't, uh, just found recently. So it says Russia and the United States would hold uh, anti-joint anti-terror drills in the United States in Colorado, May 24th and 31st says a Russian spokesman, it says it'll be the first time that Russia airborne forces have held exercise, exercises with the U.S. airborne forces on U.S. territory. Um, but it goes on here, it says that in the exercise scenario, soldiers of the two countries will hold tactical airborne operations, including the reconnaissance of imagery, that's geospatial and all that stuff, right, uh, for terrorist camps and raids. So uh, just quickly, what are these terrorists? Uh, camps and raids going to look like? Well, they're going to be mostly people like you and I that are either uh, pushed out of the uh, mega cities uh, while the slaves are being processed into this brave new world, this digital new world, uh, but also what? People that are in, on their farms getting kicked off in the rural areas. So, not sure what this actually means. I don't care about prostitutes and secret service and stuff like that. Uh, so, maybe this is just a whitewash to it, but it says here that. Uh, this individual, uh, yeah, Representative Grassley, says that the Colombian prostitutes were actually Russian spies. So who knows, right? Moving on, another way to kill the U.S. farmers seize their bank accounts on phony charges. So yeah, it goes on. It says Monsanto's own private FDA. That's right. They're not there to keep you safe. They're there to protect the interests of these uh, complexes, right? These conglomerates, uh, companies of these industries can't close down small dairies and private food clubs fast enough uh, bursting on the scene with guns drawn as if the criminalized right to contract for natural foods we've consumed for millennia deserves SWAT attention. Well, of course it does because they want you to eat, um, uh, you know, antibiotic, um, irradiated, 
uh, GMO corn-fed uh, cattle, while they themselves, like Prince Charles, have their own Aberdeen uh, Angus beef, organic beef um, farm. So, and then the communists too, they have their own organic uh, fields of vegetables and food. So it's about sterilizing, it's about making you weak. This is all about, uh, like I said before, turning you, uh, the enemy, the real terrorists, into a plebe, into a blob. Remember I mentioned, it's a split in evolution. It's not that they get better, the elites. It's just that they stay the same, and everybody else just is so malnutritioned. Uh, they're going to cut out the uh, the meat out of your diet and everything, right? Uh, religion, because the new religion is what? It's, uh, it's green. It's sustainability. It's a new religion, and it's about killing people. So it says here that... Uh, the DOJ, the Department of Justice, is going after small farmers under the post-9-11 Bank Secrecy Act, which makes it a crime to deposit less than $10,000 when you earn more than that. So, yeah, basically, it's uh, the term is called structuring, and it uh, basically splits up bank deposits to keep them under the threshold of ten grand, which banks have to report transactions to the government. So, yeah, uh, basically, the government went in there and took $63,000 of their money, whether even though they committed no crime and just wanted to keep their pro uh, keep their privacy. So without funds, they'll be unable to make purchases for the next spring planting. So, of course, so now they're shut down, right? And uh, with those taxes, now what? If, you know, the, the IRS is after you, they can not only uh, uh, basically suspend your passport, put you on a no-fly list, but strip your Second Amendment right. It says the Senate has approved a Bill 1813, which is now on its way to the House. It says the bill has so many attacks on freedom that most of the serious one has been largely overlooked. It says there are two attacks on gun ownership in this bill. And it goes on here and it says that all 1,600 pages of it can be found here. The first attack on the right to bear arms is found here, where it says um, the secretary may modify, suspend, or terminate a special permit or approval. The secretary determines that a person who is granted the special permit or approval has violated the special permit or approval or the regulations issued under this chapter. So it goes on and says the second attack on gun ownership is more subtle. It goes on and says that the bill... Uh, passes, the IRS will have the authority to take away the passports of whom of those of whom they say owe more than 50000 in taxes. The tax does tax debt doesn't even have to be proven. They just ha have to say or accuse you. So it goes on and says when your passport is revoked by the government, you're suddenly on a no-fly list. And of course, you remember what? Membership in the no-club fly list uh, puts you on yet another list as a potential domestic terrorist. So domestic terrorists are not allowed to have guns. And uh, do you remember the individual who talked about that? Oh, it's the uh, president of the mega city known as Chicago, Rahm Emanuel. So speaking of these mega cities, remember I included this at the end of that last video from yesterday. Big plans, America 2050, bold innovations and a bright future. Well, a bright future for who? Not for you, not for the individual who wants privacy, who wants your sovereignty. But they're going to have all these conferences and discuss... Um, these metropolitan areas that they're going to turn into these mega cities, and of course they say what? Um, they basically say, oh, as the, as the population explodes, right? Due to overpopulation, we have to deal with housing needs and housing, transportation, employment, and environmental sustainability. So we have this article from April 23rd. World government established biodiversity panels. This is from Scientific American. So scientists from more than 90 countries will unite to create an IPCC like body to assess the earth's fragile ecosystem this is the same remember i just covered it so i'm not going to include the uh in right now for time's sake you go in there and check it out check out my recent videos if you don't believe me this is the same panel that believes in global warming and climate change and remember climate change is based off the club of rome's assessment that they would be able to uh, blame all of the uh, problems with hurricanes and weather and stuff like that on humans so they declare uh war on the human in other words, they'd have to unite people in an effort to fight this new thing. And that's how they create a religion of sustainability, you see? But it's about taking you down. And by taking you down, the best thing to do is to take away your wealth that you've accumulated through generations, right? So remember, one of the panel members of the IPCC actually said what? He said that the goal of climate change is to redistribute wealth. Not in a happy utopia way, but to take your money, like we're taking money out of the United States, and pay for abortions, for population measures in China. To take companies, corporations that used to be in the United States that started here, and pay them to move somewhere else so they get cheaper labor. Then you got too many people, not enough jobs here.
Too many useless eaters. Well, you got to have sustainability. Let's let's call it climate change. Well, the only problem is the climate change uh, is natural. Yes, I think we're going into ice age, but what? The warming. The wa- warming is being caused by the spraying that's there to combat the global warming. So to meet America's growing and changing population demographics, well, it's going to be changing, and it's being changed uh, and engineered on purpose. They know what it's going to look like. So they got to get into urban energy efficiency, right, which is smart meters and uh, controlling your energy usage. But they're talking about transportation. And again, they want to get rid of your sovereignty and your ability to travel privately. So they want you out of your cars, and they want you on public transportation. They're doing this in China, too, with the super rail, right, the high-speed rail. But they're crashing and stuff like that. But uh, it's good for population measures, I guess. Privatization Amtrak will bring high-speed rail to uh, the northeast faster. This is in, of course, this is done with public-private funds. Mostly the profits are privatized, the shareholders, and the public just foots all the infrastructure and upkeep, and they don't see anything, the losses. Plus, that would be a good way to uh, transport the uh, resistors and those that are maybe going to possible FEMA camps or detention centers to go to prison labor, to be processed, to be called. So America, 2050, right? Going into Agenda 21, well, that's why we have this. Obama quietly seeking to cede U.S. oceans to U.N. law. And uh, moving on here, we have what? A map of these emerging mega regions. This is what they're going to look like. Texas Triangle, Front Range, Southern California, Great Lakes, which is huge. So, of course, these are going to be highly, highly sophisticated areas. You know, no getting in, getting out unless they know about it. Tracks and stuff, facial recognition, drones, surveillance. And, of course, areas right here are going to be utilized by Monsanto, Cargill, basically growing all the GMO food. And they'll have the barbed wire fences, like I mentioned, the planet uh, battle cry for a planet of victims. Go check it out if you haven't. But, you know, I show how they push all these farmers to suicides with these GMO seeds. It's a record suicide rate in India. Uh, They're killing American farmers. And they're going to basically have what? These big, humongous barbed wire fences around with drones monitoring all this crappy food that's going to help sterilize you and call the population. If you want to contact some of these uh, douchebags, How would you contact them? Well, they're in New York, New York. I thought, hmm, maybe that's close to the United Nations, right, for America 2050. Well, let's go in there and check it out. United Nations and then the address for America 2050. Oh, look at that. It's five minutes away from the United Nations. And people thought that was going to happen fast so that they can attack, you know, a revolution. Well, no. It's it's happened slowly through generations while people are being distracted because, you know, they had to work uh, more and more for less and less. And, of course, they were being entertained to death and distracted. So I'm going to keep moving, but look at this. H.R. 1505, drones, Agenda 21, land grab, and forward operating bases for the drones. That's right. This is uh, furthering Agenda 21, and it goes on. It says the intent of the bill uh, under Secretary of Agriculture is taking action on public lands which impede the border activities of the Secretary of Homeland Security. So this bill decimates the U.S. Constitu- uh, Constitution, sorry, and it gives 100 miles of land adjacent to any international border directly to Homeland Security without any recourse or oversight. And part of this uh, bill is U.S. aircraft, drones, or unmanned aerial vehicles. And it goes on, it says 100 miles may not seem like a lot, but it goes on and it says that the map fails to account for international borders and zones such as uh, around the United Nations building in New York City, our buddies. So under H.R. 1505, uh, DHS, which is actually all these agencies wrapped into one, is what? They're going to be able to violate all of these different types of laws through a waiver. So we know that the Department of Homeland Security has been buying up enough ammo to wage a seven-year war against the American people, but we're told that the terrorists are Islam's military to review course teaching uh, U.S. at war with Islam. Well, they're going to review it because what? They're at war with Americans. Well, these aren't Americans. These are Yemenis that are going to be drone bombed. But remember this guy that was a Yemeni? He actually got drone bombed along with his son. The the first Americans to be killed by drones. And the SPD, San Francisco, says drones won't be used for spying. Well, they are. First man arrested with drone evidence vows to flight case in North Dakota. Oh, North Dakota. Well, maybe he shouldn't have been in an underperforming region. From the Middle East to Main Street, drones for urban warfare while you're barbecuing. That's right, check out the 63 new launch sites across the North American Union. And as people are going to be evacuated from Chicago, they're testing electromagnetic weapons to suppress mass protests and push you in a FEMA camp. 
or a sports stadium like Katrina that are publicly funded, which they are preparing for, and slave labor to work off your debt.